Hey guys, so today I'm not actually doing a plot quest video because, you know, we're, you know, the past three videos, I've talked nothing about plot on my channel, plot quest. You know what, never mind. Hello, Flaw of Plot Clusters, it is I, Aaron Plot Cluster, and today I will be talking about a recent issue that's been addressed by amnesty.org and a news article. So, I sort of want to talk about this because it, it is an international issue and I can sort of like connect it with the issues of justice. You know, that bug that took me, like, two months to read? Yeah, that bug. So, let's get right into it. So, basically what this article is saying, but I'll link in the description, basically what it's saying is that these corona vaccine companies are, like, taking a lot of money, and they aren't, you know, giving the vaccines to LEDCs or countries with lower income. And basically what that means is that there is a huge inequality between MEDCs and LEDCs, on how much vaccine they're getting. Meanwhile, these vaccine-making com companies are only caring about their own income, not, you know, saving the world from corona. And that is, you know, pretty terrible of them, and that's why it's pretty much on the news. And basically what the article is saying is that these different companies should be um, giving, you know, donating and using their, like, powers not to just get income, but to try to reach as many people around the globe as possible. For example, a Canadian manufacturer went up to one of the companies and said they could mass produce millions in Canada, but they didn't share the recipe. Because, I know, I mean, they didn't share the recipe. I don't, I don't think it was a recipe, I think they didn't license it. But like, why? Because you want to make your own money? I don't care, bro. You already made billions. You guys need to get the vaccines over in every country. Right now, that is what they should be focusing on, or that is what the article is saying. Now, all in all, that's a pretty scummy situation, but we can also connect that to justice. Now, there's an example in justice where after a hurricane hit, um, the, the price of roof menders and tree removers and hotels and gas went skyrocketing up because a lot of people were looking for these things. And that's why the shop owners and people who are giving those services decided that, hey, it might be good to raise our prices so we can make some money. And of course, this was, everyone was an outrage because of that. Because, you know, you're taking advantage of our crisis to make more money? Bro, that's not cool. However, some economists are argue against this by saying that it is within the rights of free market to do this and take advantage of such a situation that's actually pretty smart. And honestly, I can agree with both sides, because ethically, it is pretty wrong to take take advantage of a crisis, like for example, corona and the vaccines, in order to make more income. However, if you think about it logically, that is pretty smart. You raise the prices, and if you are the only one or the strongest in your industry, then obviously you can control the pricing. And if you can control the pricing of something that sells well, you, be, you get rich. That is, that is pretty much how it works. And I think that that makes a lot of sense, and that logically it is the right thing to do when you're in that sort of situation for to maximize the amount of money that you're getting. I genuinely think, however, that maybe the company should find a mid-ground between, you know, being super charitable and getting their own income. Because from what I can tell, they're still making a lot of money. Like, government fundings, pre-orders, getting shipped all around the globe. I mean, they are already making a lot of money, but maybe they could use some of that money back into their industry in order to give vaccines to LEDCs who can't really pay for or acquire these vaccines because apparently in some LEDC countries, people, medical workers who work in the scene of corona still don't have the vaccine. I mean, that's insane. So at the very least, what these companies could do is invest like 10% of what they make, and that's a lot of money because they're making billions, so 10% is quite a bit. And even if they could like use 10% or 20% and put it back into making vaccines, not to sell or to give to L MEDCs, but to give to LEDCs, the problem might be solved because they're still making a hell lot of money out of that stuff, but they are still being charitable and they are still helping. However, right now they're just, you know, on the other side, just completely just getting money, which I don't, like, it's like, okay, I get it, you want money, everyone does, I guess, 
but I feel like you guys could compromise a little bit and do what's ethically correct as well at the same time while you know making money and being logical. So that's what that's my stance on the situation. And honestly, if you guys want to know more, go online, search for what's going on about vaccines and the companies and the countries, and you'll get a lot more information. There's a lot of information down in the article below, which is what I got my information from. And if you think I got some of the facts wrong or something like that, then you definitely need to comment down below because I need to correct that. However, that's pretty much my stance and what's going on in the situation. And that's my analysis. So that's pretty much it. And you guys might be wondering, bro, a book, why are, why are, why is a book TV doing this? I don't know, man, I'm bored. But yeah, anyways, by the way, there is an actual plot quester video coming out probably later this week because I read like this really interesting roll doll style book that I'll be explaining later. So look up for that. And like always, your plot quester and the plot quester have a great day. And definitely check out the issue if, have, if you haven't already. Like I said, article in the description. Goodbye and have a great day.